Welcome to First Word Pharma's News Roundup for June 21st, brought to you today by editorial researcher Olivia Roger. In our top news story, an analysis suggests that global sales of pharmaceuticals will reach $1.06 trillion in 2022, down from the $1.12 trillion analyst forecast last year for the same period. Antonio Ervolino, head of forecasting at Report Author, Evaluate, said continued political and public scrutiny over pricing is not going to go away, and we are starting to feel the impact now. Ervolino noted that market access is becoming harder, as seen by the disappointing sales of drugs, such as Amgen's Repatha and Sanofi and Regeneron Pharmaceuticals' Proluent. The executive added the increasing cost of taking a novel therapy to market, now at $4 billion over the last 10 years, puts additional pressure on the productivity of the industry and its longer-term sustainability. In addition, Shires Mideus gained FDA approval as a once-daily treatment for patients 13 years and older with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. The drug maker noted the product, which has been shown to provide benefit for up to 16 hours post-dose, will be launched in the third quarter. And finally, an FDA panel voted 17-2 to in favor that study data provides substantial evidence that Nova Nordic's Victoza reduces cardiovascular risk in patients with type 2 diabetes. The committee also voted 19-0 to in favor of Victoza regarding the question of whether the results establish that use of the GLP-1 analog is not associated with excess cardiovascular risk. To read these and other stories in full, please visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today. 